Okay, now we can fly through these relatively speaking compared to the other slides, but the themes of each play, uh, as I said in my how to compare, how to prepare for a comparative essay video, uh, I've made a list of shared themes and I've made a list of themes that are unique to each. Uh, because we're comparing two relatively similar texts, there's more shared themes and less unique themes. Uh, and also the unique themes are probably more simple, more granular, as opposed to the shared themes, which are more likely to be a little bit broader. So in terms of the shared themes, uh, prejudice, and the reason we use that word instead of racism by itself is because uh, inheritance features sort of homophobia as well as racism and sort of ageism, sexism, basically all the isms which are encapsulated by prejudice, uh, whereas racism is more beneath clouds which focuses just on sort of are you black or white to use the, the terms that they use in the film. Uh, family problems are a big deal but of course how they're explored are quite different in inheritance it's sort of inter-family relationships whereas in beneath clouds uh, family is sort of a distant thing, something you're seeking or something you're trying to put back together or something you're trying to fix. Uh, both feature double standards, so you know, Nugget is part of the family until it comes to the inheritance, then all of a sudden he's not. Uh, Lena is, you know, she's accepted into the pub, she's offered lifts by people, whereas Vaughan is not, despite them sharing a common identity. Uh, indigeneity is again a big part of both of them. Uh, dark humour, uh, more so a theme of inheritance I would say, but also in Beneath Clouds is there a lot of sort of dark humour. They burn a, burn a Bible in the church and sort of subtle things like that. Um, difference in acceptance, so who accepts who and who is different and whether that affects their life. Identity, growing up, discrimination, country versus city, so in Beneath Clouds they are moving from the country into the city and as a result the pace intensifies and things become more action orientated as they enter the city, whereas in the country it's more peaceful and more slow, walking, relaxing, and also lastly identity. Alright, so in terms of unique themes, inheritance, uh, old people simply don't appear at all in Beneath Clouds. Uh, family relationships, again these are not really carried out or illustrated in any real way in Beneath Clouds. Generation gap, again these are all around a similar theme but there's no, not a great deal of young to old interaction apart from when Vaughan sort of meets up with his former gang members I guess or whatever those characters are to him. Uh, racism as a comedic device is definitely part of inheritance, whereas it's definitely not in Beneath Clouds. It's a very serious issue in, the, in that film, and it's presented as such. Um, I've got The Elderly again, which again is not part of Beneath Clouds, but sort of how you look after the elderly and sort of assist them, if you think of the offering the lawnmower instead of a more traditional mobility type wheelchair thing, then that's how you deal with the elderly and whether you have to bend to assist them or whether you can sort of fit them within how you do things or already. Multiculturalism, so there's many races explored, whereas in Beneath Clouds it's what I've written as duo culture, so are you Aboriginal or are you European Australian? Those are the two, that's the dichotomy. Are you black or white? Whereas there's a lot more grey in Henny Racing, you know, as part of it, you know, you've sort of included what they refer to as the wogs and other nationalities as well to sort of broaden it out. So again, Beneath Clouds, if Hanny Rayston's inheritance is old people, of course, Beneath Clouds focuses typically and mainly centrally on youth and young people. Uh, a lack of adult supervision is a big part of the issues they face, and so that's also a very minor theme, but something you could explore in your essay. Okay, motifs. So again, motifs are recurring images or ideas that come up again and again. I will go through these pretty quickly and it's sort of relying upon you to know what they mean and how they fit in. So in inheritance, a definite motif is swearing. The inheritance, of course, recipes and food. They discuss food and it represents things. Depression, especially among the men as part of the drought-affected culture. Not the drought-affected culture, but the drought-affected environment. Uh, affects the farmers in, in the form of depression. City versus the country, farming knowledge and who knows best, what's the right way. Knowledge of the land and directions and memories and the past. 
So the motifs for Beneath Clouds are going home, finding mum or dad in the case of Vaughan and Lena. Uh, the rock that Vaughan reaches for when threatened comes up again and again as something his first instinct is violence and that's obviously how he got himself into jail though we don't fully get explained as to why that is the case. We know he got a bullet wound and we also know that his temptation or first response is to reach for a rock and to respond violently as we learn also when he's in the jail at the beginning of the film. Uh, the, another motif is the road, sort of travelling alongside cars and sometimes in cars but mostly travelling along the road as a duo. Uh, the police are a constant presence even though they're not on camera for that long or on screen for that long. They're a different, definite motif. They're, they're something to be avoided, something to be hidden from and at some points it's things to fight. Uh, and also dead animals and also introduced animals are sort of two motifs that come up again and again. There's a lot of dead animals along the road as they go along. All right, so even quicker, the symbols for inheritance, the farm, the lawnmower, Nugget and Farley's hat, pigeons, the Mallee, Pauline Hansen, Eddie Marbo and the Marbo decision, the noose, homophobia, a plague of rats, two girls in blue, magpies, the whip, and of course the inheritance. In Beneath Clouds, the photo album containing Lena's pictures of her father, the mountain, introduce animals and plants, such as the corn, the black cat and the horse, which represents, represent innocence, power lines, black power or black pride, this is our land, church and the police, the insects, which crawl all over the dead animals typically, the earth, the ground, the countryside, churches, the road and fast cars.